Welcome to another exciting Terry Dame Pro Tools tutorial. Today's fascinating topic is uh, going to be how to use the sound effects library at Marymount Manhattan and how to access that sound effects library through the Pro Tools workspace browser. And you're going to do this for your upcoming sound postcard project. So before you get into Pro Tools at all, you're going to want to sign on to the server. So um, connect to the server on the computer you're working at, on as usual in the same way. And then uh, in a folder at fairly close to the top of the hierarchy uh, should be a media folder. And inside that media folder should be the Marymount Sound Effect Library. Um, don't go into the TDAME to folder where you upload your work. Just launch the server and then you should see that media folder. Um, so once you see it, don't open it. Just make sure that it's there and you're connected to the server. Now go into Pro Tools. You're going to open a new session. So for this uh, sound postcard project, you want a 44.1K sample rate um, and yeah, uh, a 16-bit depth sample bit depth and WAV file as always. And then um, open that up and um, we're going to look for our sound effects library using the workspace browser. So I've got a session opened up here. I'm going to go under my window menu and halfway down I'm going to choose new workspace and default. Um, and this is the workspace browser. So um, before you do anything, um, this is where your sound effects are going to show up and this is how you navigate to those sound effects over here in the locations. But before you do that, you want to do you want to narrow your search down because right now if I just typed something into this window here to search, it would search the entire computer that you're working on and it would also search the entire server because it's connected. And and so if you entered bird, it would ser search all of those places for bird and you would probably be there till next semester waiting for it to uh, load all those options. So please follow this uh, little instruction here because it will uh, enable you to effectively search. So I'm going to click, see where I am here, giant arrow, this magnifying glass, I'm going to click that so that it becomes an X, and then I'm going to go over here at the top of this locations window here, and I'm going to click that box with a check mark in it so that it turns green. And now I'm going to navigate to um, to the library, uh, the sound effect library on the server. So likely you'll go into volumes and then you'll see the server on there. Mine is not there because um, I am not there right now. So my sound effects library is on this, this drive here. So um, I'm going to uh, open up the drive. I'm not going to click anything yet. Um, and this is actually where my sound effects are in this SBA sound effects library. So by checking that box now, I can open it up. I see a two folders full of sound effects. By checking that only that box, um, then anything I enter in the search box over here, it's only going to search in those two folders. It's not going to look anywhere else. So that's going to be a lot faster. Still going to take a long time because there's still probably like you know ten thousand sound effects in here, but. Um, your uh, situation won't look like, won't say SVA sound effects, it'll, but it, it'll have a, uh, about six different sound effect libraries in them. Um, I think the top couple uh, are like cartoon libraries, so anything that says cart, C-A-R-T, um, is probably going to be a cartoon sort of. So I think there's a Hanna-Barbera sound effect library there. And Anyway, you'll see pretty quickly. Some of them are just kind of cartoony ones. Uh, the Sound Ideas Library is uh, an excellent library. So the, each of those, I think five or six folders there, are all excellent and all have slightly different things. So you're going to want to check in all of them, um, even if you do it one at a time, until you find what you want. So in my case, here I am. I've found what I wanted to. So say I want some bird action here. Here are all my birds. Um, uh, bird calling animal. So to hear it, you just um, click this little play button. Can you hear that? And you can audition. Um, you know. So there's everything from kind of ambiences to 
you know, solo things. Um, you know, if you put animal, um, you get all kinds. See, so here it says cart. That's going to be kind of a cartoon sound. Foley. I don't know what the difference between a foley. Does someone actually... Oh, so if it says foley, that's someone who's doing live sound effect creating. It's not actually what it is. Meow. Meow, meow animal. Um, anyway, so when I find what I need, um, moo animal. So that's cartoon, obviously. <laughs> Okay, so say I want Moo Animal in my session. Um, I'm going to take that file and I can drag it into two places. I could put it inside my um, clip bin over here, and or I could um, let's see, what else do I want? Um, how about a howl animal? <laughs> okay, yeah. But I can drag that right into my um, into my uh, window as well here. I mean, into my track edit window here. And there it is. So that's how you use the Workspace browser to bring things into your um, uh, session. Now, it is very important when you're importing in this way that at the end of the session you do a save, do a save copy in because it's really easy to leave sound effects behind when you're importing, dragging them into the session. So make sure you do the procedures, save copy in, um, latest session, and make sure you click audio files here, and then OK. And then um, I'm going to get rid of copy of, and I'll put newest, so I'll know this is my newest one. Um, and then, super duper important, make sure you look here where you're saving it. Oh, it just started snowing. Um, make sure you look where you're saving it. So I want to save it to the desktop. That's where the other one is that I was working on. Wherever you are, because it could end up somewhere else, and then you'll just never know where it is. So make sure you look here to where you're saving this new folder, session folder you're creating. Okay, more later. Goodbye.